Yeah, I know that shit was gonna come out juicy. Juicy. Getting ready in the car. They don't have like a dressing room where we can just chill out. Okay, okay, okay. My name is Janaea, aka Nay Slayer. Welcome to my channel. And today, as you can see by the title, is a wash day. A wash day, and we're about to do some perm rides. That's my go-to method to get hair. I have a performance tomorrow. I perform tomorrow. First time ever really performing. I'm performing with my homegirl. And yeah, in LA. And I gotta be popping, so we about to get into it right now. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you love it. Okay, my hair is now completely washed, detangled, and conditioned. This is my hair in its natural state, guys. Let me show you how we about to get this together. We're gonna start off by applying some, this label looks crazy, but we're gonna apply some Camille Rose Naturals, moisture milk, and a little bit of this heat protective. We're gonna put our hair in sections and we are about to blow dry, honey, okay? Okay, guys. We are fully blow dried. I don't really like be feeling the need to blow dry my hair like too straight when I do this style. Just try to take a fly with the shirt. I think I got it. Anyways, so my roots are still a little puffy, but it is okay. I am doing a flat twist perm rod set um this is the way i like to do my hair um so that i can get like a really good like crown i love having a good crown and it's just like so flowy so yeah let's get right on into it i like to part the back off first um it doesn't have to be perfect but um essentially i just like to get my foundation ready for the back flat twisting the back adding a perm rod on the end of it and then flat twisting the front towards down to my face putting a perm rod on the end of it and yeah today we're going to be using the olive oil ORS coconut infused restorative mousse to help set our perm rods okay so I'm going to go ahead with the voiceover while I'm doing my parts and the style in general so right here you'll see me just sectioning off of my hair um so that i can start um doing those flat twists i don't like to do very neat organized parts because it is a crown it is a fro and i really want um it to look like a natural fro i don't really want it to look so uniform and like so defined having some messiness works i think i do about like five or six of them in the back of my head So now I'm going in with about two to three pumps of my ORS mousse and I'm just spreading it evenly amongst that first section of my hair that will be the first flat twist um, into the perm rod set that I'm doing. So now I'm going in to do my flat twist and a flat twist is very similar to a cornrow except it's twist so you just have two parts of your hair that you are starting out with as if you were just doing a regular twist but every time you do an over or under you grab a piece of hair so I don't know if you can see in this video or in this part of the video but you know I would just be twisting my hair as normal but every time I made a movement or I put a piece of my hair underneath the other piece of my hair I would grab some of the hair that is underneath to make it like stick to the top so yeah just doing a flat twist So 
so here you see me just like putting the perm rod on the end and i'm really smoothing it out and also doing like a shirley temple curl on it to give it that really like wanded effect and then i just make sure it's like really secure and i snap it and voila here we go our first flat twist into perm rod and here I'm just doing another perm rod. I do like to reapply some mousse on the end just to make sure that the perm rod is being applied very smoothly. That is very important when getting um, a perm rod set to like be very defined when you take it off. Like you just want it to be as smooth as possible with the hair on the perm rod. And here I am just snapping it secure. And yeah, so here we are with two flat twists in the perm rods in the back. Here we are with all six perm rods, flat twists in the back. And now we're getting started with the front. And same thing, I don't like to make the parts very defined. I just kind of like part with my fingers where it naturally just separates with the hair. And here again, you see me just taking that very first piece in the front with the organic root stimulator mousse and just smoothing it all around and getting working it in. And then I'm gonna pick up my paddle brush eventually and start brushing my hair just to make it smooth. And yeah, I'm just showing you guys an example of how it looks like to do the front with um, the hair coming down towards my face. Um, this will give it the crown effect that I was talking about um, with my hair. So yeah, just watch how I flat twist down to the front instead of going straight to the back and with this particular part instead of how I did um, in the first part. So here it is, the um, finished product with all of it in. I think I had about eight in the front and six in the back. So yeah. Okay guys, I'm about to turn in. As you can see, I just finished my hair. I got the whole crown going good. Um, I'm probably gonna knock the blow dryer against it a little bit tonight. And then in the morning, probably do that again. And I'm gonna film myself taking it out and show you guys exactly how I style it to make it. Gorgeous. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, man. Recording. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna just do a voice of What the f is that? So now I'm just going in with my Amelia Cosmetics hair oil. And I'm just gonna like put some on my scalp to like promote hair growth, do a little bit of a scalp massage. I also like to rub some of it on my hands um, when I do it just to help like prevent frizz um, that would just naturally come from me taking the rollers out. I take it out pretty slowly and wow look at that. And now you'll just see me over here um, unraveling the twist pretty slowly. Um, since it is a flat twist going all the way down like I find that unraveling it pretty much separates the curls pretty well um, and I really just kind of need to go in with a pick afterwards to just make it pretty big but I'm going to fast forward through some of this and you guys can just kind of see like how it looks like when I initially am taking out the flat twist. Before. Yeah, I know that shit was gonna come out juicy. Juicy.
lie, this little, this little set coming out kind of good. Thanks for watching my video and let me know if you have any questions about how I did it. <laughs>